Many thanks to the EA Creator Network for the code for the Goth Galore Kit and for a giveaway code. Hello, my name is Jennifer and welcome to my video overview. I will go over the giveaway at the end of the video. So the three Sims that are shown here on this cover are actually available on the gallery. The Sims shared across various social media platforms, including this tweet. Get grim with the Goth Galore Trio featuring Cassandra Goth, Lilith Pleasant and Grey Reed. Head over to the gallery and check out these goth besties. And they are here on the gallery. And the description is, these besties have bonded over their mutual interest in dark and exquisitely grim fashion. After all, you know what they say, best friends who decay together, stay together. And it's Cassandra Goth, Lilith Pleasant and Grey Reed. So in addition to that, there is already an issue with the hoodie and there is a mod fix for that hoodie. It will make your female framed Sims have bugged out bigger eyes. You can see that here. I will link to the bug report and this bug fix mod down below. If you can't or don't want to use a mod, you can just not use this hoodie on your female frame framed Sims. It is actually fine for Sims who have a male frame, which you will see when I show the items shortly, <laughs> right after this actually, which um, we're gonna just take a look at the three Sims that I got from the gallery. So there's Cassandra Goth. Of course they are with base game and only the Goth Galore kit, which for Cassandra, she's normally only base game. And here she has this added. And of course for some of the outfits, it, they don't have anything from the kit, so it's just base game, though um, sometimes it's a mixture of base game and the kit. And then for Lilith, she is actually from Discover University. So in if you have Discover University, she would have base game and DU items, where here she has base game plus goth glory stuff. So you could take a look at how she is and then maybe give her some of these outfits in her DU version or just replace her with this one, but then you'd have to establish the relationship with her sister. But uh, the traits are the same. Or if you don't have Discovery University, now you can add her to your game. And this is Gray Reed, who I'm not sure whether he is um, like a offspring of the Grimm, because there's a lot of references to the Grimm, or if he's like a human version of the Grimm, or if he is just, you know, it's just a fun play on that. I know they keep hinting at things with the Grim Reaper. So it seems like at some point we might get something more, or maybe it's just sort of, he's an iconic character for the pack or for the game, I should say. So here we're taking a look at all of the items that come with the kit and the various different colors. So I started with Cassandra. So we see all of the female things or the things available for females, except for one of the makeups, that bottom one with the things going down, I completely forgot, but you get to see it anyways when we get to gray. But there is a lot of overlap with the various things between the two, though the eye, full eye makeup and the lipstick isn't under the male filter. Obviously you can use it however you want. You just clear the filter and you can get to it. And the tops, some of them I think are still available on the males, but they look quite different on the females. Like this jacket, when I was seeing it in the male, I was initially like, oh, is that, <laughs> is that the same? Um, this top there is for both males and females. And I actually really like the one with the freezer bunny, the, the version. And then there's also the one that they already has gone by with sort of a plain one. So I have to say, I... I did one, I one, I did not vote for the goth kit, uh, but I was kind of indifferent between the two themes anyways. And two, I would not be able to tell you what a goth outfit should look like. And I know I've seen some people say that it's not actually very goth. And here you see this, her eyes are a bit buggier. I find, I think if your Sims have bigger eyes already, it's not going to be as obvious, but if they have smaller eyes, then it is a lot more obvious that the eyes become a lot bigger. So, but anyway, so so I've seen some people say this is actually not very goth. Maybe it's more emu, but I honestly wouldn't be able to tell you the difference between either. I just sort of look and see, do I like this piece or do I not like this piece? 
I also did take a quick look at Realm of Magic and Vampires, and some of the pieces from Realm of Magic and from Vampires do go with um, things from this kit. And I didn't. There, I'm sure there's things from other base game and whatnot also, because I mean they use base game mixed with this for some of the outfits for the Sims that they shared to the gallery, and they they worked fine, worked well for that matter. So um, yeah. And then these two things, the accessories that are gone are there for both. And I think I went back to try and, I know, I couldn't see it. So I switched her top. So it was easier to see the accessories. They were kind of harder to see. And um, so then the boots are similar, honestly, to the ones from Realm of Magic. But they are a bit different because these have like full platforms. And the Realm of Magic have like clunky heels on the boots. So they they do look different, but my first thought when I saw them was, oh, those look kind of like the ones from Realm of Magic, but they are a bit different. So there's two one-piece outfits for the females, but the one on the right is also available for males. But they do look different depending on what frame it's placed on. So, and uh, yeah, so I can't can't really talk. And there's one style look for females, and there's also a different style look for the males. Uh, so... If you're into goth or emu, let me know what you think, whether it reflected the theme or not. I'd love to know that <laughs> down below. So here you could, there I showed the makeup that was on the, uh, under the eyes that's available for the, ma the male without a filter clearing. So this is the top that both those two tops are male and female. This top I think is just for males. And uh, I think maybe the one possibly beside it, I'd have to look at it again. Now, I just think it looks different on either. It looks quite different on the male frame, which it does, or they just have very similar ones for male and female. And so here you can see it doesn't seem to do anything to the eyes for the male framed sim like it did with the female. So there's five tops there and three bottoms because, of course, there were some skirts and also there were some really short shorts that they didn't have for the male frame showing here. And then there's that one piece outfit that uh, I had already commented was there for the male, the Sims that was there for the females. And uh, then I changed to show those arms there and the boots. And I can't remember if I missed, but there was a, oh, yeah, there you go. There's a styled outfit, <laughs> which is the one piece <laughs> mixed with the boots. So here is just the preview of uh, the items from the main menu and everything is included here. It isn't for the castle kit, but I'll go over that when I get to a separate overview of that one. And in total, there are 24 items there. It is just from the blog post. You can see everything at once, just without the different colors that was the main reason I went through and showed all of that in case you were curious about what the different colors of things were for it. And now we're going to come to the giveaway. So if you'd like to participate in the giveaway, please comment with the following three things. One, what's your favorite item from the kit? Two, what platform do you play on? Do you play on computer, Xbox, or PlayStation? And three, how can I reach you? I am on Twitter slash X. I'm on Facebook. I'm on Discord and I'm on Instagram and all the links in my ID whatnot is down below. And I'll need to know how I can reach you on one of those four platforms. I'll be doing a random draw and the deadline for commenting below to enter the giveaway is this Wednesday at 1 p.m. Eastern. That is January 24th. So comment below with those things and let me know if you know more about, you know, what constitutes goth in a comment too. But that's going to be it for this video. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.